In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a large caravel in Minecraft. Now if you're new to the channel at all we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys if you're looking for more ship tutorials I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to the playlist. Anyway guys let's get into the tutorial. So here we are on my tutorial world. Um, I'm gonna be able to build on this one on the flat because it's a lot easier to show you guys block placements, things like that. Um, and just, yeah, to kind of lay out literally where it's all about. This section, the introduction section, we'll be going over how long and how wide, how tall the whole ship is, as well as if you guys are building it moored up, where would you actually build it? Um, all of that kind of stuff is gonna be here. And also building it underneath water, where are you gonna place it under the water? It's the most common question. Everybody skips this section, I don't know why. But anyway, right, so how long is this one? So it's 49, uh, sorry, not 49, 43 blocks long in total. That includes right at the end here, the actual sail parts of it, as well as right at the front, the bow sprit. It's 19 blocks wide in total as well. That includes all of the sails uh, they've got in there, but the actual hole itself is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks in total. Uh, nine if you include the little hanging over bits where you put the uh, the shrouds onto. So that's what that is. And 37 blocks tools. That's right from the bottom of the ship, right to the top mast, which is the middle mast, the main mast, uh, right there. Right, so if you guys are gonna be building this one on the flat and then copying it and, and pasting it in, I'd definitely recommend building a square. Um, this square will be 43 blocks long and 19 blocks wide. Um, if you've got this one moored up, so say if you've got your wall like here, something like that, um, in, in your harbour, and you want this bit sticking over, because you can do that if you wanted to. Um, so where exactly would that be? Well, we've got 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 12 blocks to get to that point right there, which then hits this kind of uh, front front part of it made out of acacia. So that's what that would be, including or, or from the back. And then again, this is where you do need to have your your square. It is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and that's the sixth block is where you get your rudder, um, and that is the same as where the cabin is here. So this is where the main cabin part of it is, is on the fifth block, not fifth. Wait, yeah, fifth block. <laughs> get myself confused. Uh, fifth block is where you get the back of the cabin, uh, so that's where that all is. But at least then that helps you guys figure out if you are trying to put it somewhere helps you figure out where to actually put it. So in terms of uh, how many blocks down are you gonna start this? If you're doing this one in the water, you're doing it on survival, uh, God help you. Um, I mean, the, the sails are just so difficult in survival, they always are. Um, but where would you be building that one? I would uh, recommend that you actually put the water layer here. So if this was your water, what does that actually mean? Well, it means right next to that, if you've got a block next to your water, you go one, two, three, and four blocks down, that is where your first layer is going to start. Four blocks down, nice and simple there. Um, and that just means, and the re reason I say to do it on the fourth block, I mean, you can do whatever you want, you can do it lower, you can do it higher. Um, it means that your rudder is then surrounded by water. I really shouldn't have done that because um, it's a nightmare now to get it out, but that's fine. I wonder if we can do it with a sponge, I don't know. But uh, yeah, you get your kind of like rudders then hidden, which is quite nice. Yeah, sponge is the best way to go for that. Um, so that's where I would recommend doing all of that. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it for the introduction section. So let's get on to building. Okay, so for layer number one, what we're going to do is on our square grid, if you guys are building this one um, on the square grid, we're actually going to be 10 blocks to right in the middle of this. Uh, so I'm going to use these never gold ore because I can. Uh, I can go one, uh, then we've got three, then five, then seven, then nine, and this is the 10th block right here because if we do the same on the other side, one, three, five, seven, nine, there you go, you see the 10th block is the middle block. We're gonna be 16 blocks back from this, going right into the center here. So we've got one, three, five, seven, nine, we've got 11, 13, 15, and then it's 16 blocks. So there's gonna be one extra one there, like that. Never used uh, never gold before. I quite like the texture though, it's a bit weird. Right, a couple blocks that you're gonna going to need at least uh, for the next couple layers, uh, spruce slab, spruce planks, and spruce stairs, also oak planks, uh, spruce fence as well. So what we'll do first is with our spruce slab, we're going to have this on the upper piece right here, that's going to be right behind that, 
we're then going to have two blocks of your spruce planks. Then with your spruce slab, we're going to go out diagonally from this one. So right to this block here. And there's going to be two of those like that. Then we're going to have our spruce stairs. We're going to do upside down stairs now. Um, because we can start doing this, I've, you know, with the underwater blocks and things, I I've started to go to town really with, um, with my stairs. Um, so this one has got quite a lot. We've got seven sets of stairs going back. So one, two, three, four, four. <laughs> Let me count that again. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, and seven like that. Then what we're going to do is going to have two uh, spruce slab blocks on top of this. One and two uh, like that, just behind those two. Then we're going to switch over to our oak planks and we're going to actually be right here. So we're going to be, it's so going to go diagonal from that one. And we're going to have six lots of oak. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six like that. Then we're going to have a spruce fence and then a spruce plank block. Now what that should mean is we're actually five blocks from the back. So if we go from here, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, yeah, five blocks meaning a gap of five blocks, not meaning actually five blocks. That shouldn't be the fifth block. So that is correct. So we can now actually get rid of all this rubbish as well, which is good. Uh, I might keep my central block there for no real reason. Um, and we'll go for the other side. So we've got these two slabs here like that, going off diagonally. Then we've got seven sets of upside down spruce stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Two spruce slabs on the upper on here, one, two. And then right in the middle of this, what do we do? We just fill it up with spruce. And that's it, spruce planks, just fill it all up. That will then do, but that is it guys, for layer number one. And now for layer number two, what you guys are gonna do is grab some spruce planks and just place that directly on top of the last layer. Uh, on top of that spruce slab that you've got there. Then we're gonna have an upside down spruce stair directly on the front of that. You're gonna switch over to an oak slab and we're gonna have an oak slab right on the upper piece, right on the next next part of that block. Then behind this, we are gonna have three oak plank blocks, one, two, and three like that. What we'll now do is switch back over to our oak slab and we're gonna miss the full block Go to the next one, we're gonna have two oak slabs like this. Then we're gonna have two oak plank blocks behind this, one and two. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go diagonally off this with a spruce slab and we're actually gonna have five spruce slabs. So the diagonal is here, just there. So we go out by one, or just out by one is probably an easier way of saying it, but one, two, three, four, and five. So there you go, one, two, three, four, five in total like that. Cool. So what we're gonna do behind this is we're gonna have oak planks. So we're just going to bring those all the way up to the back of that. Then we're going to have two more oak plank blocks behind this, one and two. Then we're going to have two oak plank, uh, sorry, oak slabs on the upper, one and two right there like that. Switch over to spruce and we're going to place one directly on top of this spruce slab behind it. So it's just behind that first slab. We're actually going to have three of these in total. So one and two. So one, two, three like that. Then we're going to have two spruce slabs, one and two. And then behind these, we're going to have three blocks. So you've got this one, two, and three like that. That will leave you with a oak plank block on the back here. So you put that in there. Then put a spruce fence on, and then a spruce plank block just on top of the rudder piece. So now we need to do it on the other side. So what we'll do here is right next to this um, spruce, block that we got here we're gonna have our oak slab on the upper piece like that three blocks of oak planks behind this one two and three like that then what we're gonna do is we're gonna miss the first oak plank block go to this one I'm gonna have two oak slabs one and two then we're gonna have two blocks of our oak planks one two then we're gonna go out by one with our spruce slab this time we're gonna have five of these so one two, three, four, and five. Behind this, just fill this in with oak planks, like that. Then add two more oak planks, one and two, like that. Two oak slabs, one and two. Then behind this, on top of this uh, spruce slab that we've got, we're gonna go one, two, and three, like that. So then that brings it all the way up to there. And then with our spruce slabs, we're gonna have two right here, one and two like that there, and then that completes layer number two.
layer number three, what we're going to do guys is grab an oak plank block, place that directly on top of the spruce upside down stair that you got right at the front there. Then what we're going to do is grab a block I haven't even got, which is good, uh, which is an oak oak stair. There we go. Oak stair. Have that upside down on the front, just like that. We're also going to have uh, an upside down oak stair either side of this oak plank block that we've got. So place them in there like that. Um, why not? Then we're going to have an oak plank block right behind that, like that. An oak slab on the upper piece right next to it, coming out. Then we're going to have three oak plank blocks behind it. So one, two, and three like that. Now we're going to have an oak slab right there like that. Now we're going to do is a lot of alternating between spruce planks and oak planks to make this kind of crazy pattern because we're starting to get to that point. So we're going to have a spruce block behind this, then an oak block that is, oak plank block. Then we're going to have two spruce, two oak, then a spruce, then an oak, and then a spruce. There we go like that. Okay, then what we're going to do is going to have two upper oak slabs here, one and two, just on top of that there. We're going to have two oak plank blocks behind this, like that, so those fill in those gaps. Then we're going to have two more oak plank blocks on the back of that, so one and two. Another oak slab on the upper, like this. On this spruce slab that we've got right here, place an oak plank block, that will fill that one up. Then we're going to have a spruce plank block right on the back of that. On top of this oak plank block here, we're going to put a spruce block. And we're also going to have an oak slab right on there, right on that last bit there. So you kind of get this nice smooth uh, kind of angle going up like that. You guessed it, for the rudder it's just a spruce fence and then a spruce plank block. Now we get the fun of doing the whole thing on the other side. So what we'll do here, behind this oak stair, we're going to place down a block. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have an oak slab right on the side here. Then we'll have three oak slabs, uh, sorry, three oak plank blocks behind that. One, two, and three, like that. On the last one, we're going to have an upper oak slab coming out. Then we get this pattern that we had before, which is spruce, then oak, then two spruce, then two oak, then spruce, then oak, then spruce. There we go. I mean, the good news is you've got it on the other side just in case you need to double check it visually. You can at least, you know, fly over very quickly and, and kind of have a look. So next what we're going to do is we're going to have two oak slabs on the upper here. We're going to have oak planks in, be in behind this, so one, two. Add another two oak plank blocks to that, one, two. So there is four in total, one, two, three, four, like that. Then we're going to have an oak slab on the upper right there, around the back of that one. Then on this spruce um, slab block, we're going to have an oak plank. Then we're going to have a spruce plank block. And then right at the end, last block is the oak slab on the upper there, just like that. But that is it for layer number three. So for layer number four, what you guys are going to do is grab a spruce plank block and directly put that on the oak stair that we had last time. Switch over to your spruce stair. Going to have an upside down spruce stair either side of this, but not on the front. Not on the front, like I just placed it, right? Just like that. Then we're going to have a spruce plank block directly behind that. And then an upside down spruce stair on the side of it, just like that. Then two spruce plank blocks behind that. A spruce slab is going to be right on the upper piece of the last one of those. Then we're going to have two spruce plank blocks behind it. Now we're going to have nine blocks of oak planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, like that. Then four blocks of spruce. One, two, three, and four. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a spruce slab on the upper piece of that. Switch over to your oak. We're going to have an oak block directly on top of that, oak plank block. Then one going back. Then we're going to have an oak slab on the upper piece right at the end there. Then right on the slab that we have before, we're going to have an oak plank. Then what we're going to do is we are going to have an upside down spruce stair right here. A spruce plank is now going to be over the top of the fence. And we're going to have a spruce stair, a normal spruce stair that is, around the end to finish up the rudder. So that's what you end up getting there. So on the other side, same thing, but we'll go through it. 
So just behind that spruce stair, we're going to have a spruce block. Then we have an upside down spruce stair block right there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two blocks of spruce planks behind this, one and two. And then we're going to have a spruce slab. We're going to have that on the last block. Then two spruce plank blocks behind this, one and two. Then we're going to have nine blocks of your oak plank, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then four blocks of spruce, one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to do is we're going to have a spruce slab on the upper piece there like that. Right here on top of this oak slab, we're going to have a oak um, oak plank block. Then another one, so we're going to have two in total like that. Whoops. Then we're going to have an oak slab on the upper like that. On this block right here, we're going to have an oak plank block, and then finally an upside down spruce stair like that right at the end. There we go guys, that is it for layer number four. For layer number five, what we're gonna do is right on the front here, we're just gonna place down a block on top of the last layer as a placeholder. And then on the front of this, we're gonna have an upside down spruce stair like this. Either side of this spruce stair, we're gonna have an upper slab like that. Now on this block right here behind that slab, we're gonna have just a full block of uh, spruce planks. Switch over to your oak stairs. We're going to have an upside down oak stair on the side here. And there's going to be two blocks of oak planks behind that. One and two. Like that. Then we're going to have another upside down oak stair. Right on the side of that one. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Just because it's going to be a little bit easier, I think, to do it all at the same time. Um, right behind this slab, we're going to have a uh, spruce plank. Then we're going to switch over to our oak stair. Have an upside down oak stair right there. Two blocks of oak planks behind that, one, two. Then on the side of this one, upside down oak stair like that. There we go. So that gives us all that nice little front part. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have four blocks of oak planks behind this, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to have a spruce block. So one of those, one block of oak, then three blocks of spruce, one, two, and three. Then one block of oak then one spruce block, then three blocks of oak, one, two, three, then one block of spruce, then one block of oak, then two blocks of spruce. Yep, it's um, it's a mess. <laughs> it doesn't really matter if you get that bit wrong, as long as, like, you can go in like later on and start changing bits if you wanted to. Up to you guys. Right, so right here, what we're gonna do is gonna have a slab just on the upper piece there like that. Then we're going to have an oak plank block directly on top of that slab that we got there, like that. Then switch over to your spruce stairs. We're going to have an upside down spruce stair here. We're actually going to have three blocks, just normal blocks, on top of it, um, on top of the last layer there. And that's because um, with the caravels, when I was looking at them, they've usually got these like, quite flat looking backs. Um, I just ended up doing more ornate stuff around here to make it look a little bit fancier. Um, but yeah, it's, it surprised me actually, because I was thinking, no, that's, that's odd. Okay, we'll go with that. Anyway, next side, or well, other side, just mirroring what we did before. So we've got four lots of oak, one, two, three, four, one spruce, one oak, three spruce, one, two, oops, not stairs, one, two, three, like that, then one oak, one spruce, then we've got three oak, one, two, and three, then one spruce, one oak, then two spruce, like that. Then we've got that slab on the upper piece right here. And then we've got the oak block right here. And then with our spruce stairs, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair just like that. Okay, so to finish up this layer, what we're going to do is we are actually going to put in the floor, um, well, one of the decks, and also the front part of the little deck, because this little deck right here um, is actually one block down. Uh, we're actually going. We're actually on this level now, so that's what we're going to put in because we might as well. So for the lowest deck, um, with well, what I ended up doing is I ended up having, uh, or decided to do the main deck was going to be you know it's two and a half or yeah two and a half blocks. I'd call that two and a half blocks. Uh, the one below that, however, is is one and a half blocks. Now at least we can sneak around and uh, kind of do things now. But that's what I've ended up going with, uh, and I have not uh, done what I sometimes do, which is. Um, 
have it where it kind of gets angled up. Whoops, I didn't mean to knock that out. And that's because of the cabin. Because um, otherwise, if you angle it with the cabin, it, it starts getting really cramped. And I didn't I didn't want that. I'd prefer to have a better cabin. Um, but it's up to you guys what you want to do. So anyway, the, the bottom deck, I've done this all in jungle. So we've got jungle slabs. It's just going to be two blocks. So on the second block up, so it's on layer number three, is where we actually do this. Uh, but this is all just completely solid. You can, if you want to, put trapdoors in. Um, as a way to get like cargo down in to the real bottom of the ship uh, if you wanted to it's totally up to you guys um, I'm not an interior on mine yet um, and I don't think I will by the end of the video so I'll see kind of you know whenever I get around to it uh, what that will then look like there you go okay so that's that bit there so that's that deck now we're going to do the frontmost deck so what we do for this is we're going to have actually we're going to need to grab another block as well which is stripped dark oak wood as well. Um, so we'll put those in uh, for this bit anyway. So with our jungle slab, right on this part here, we're gonna have two. So we just go up with two. Let's have those along the sides. With our stripped dark oak wood, I'll actually knock this all the way to the last layer uh, and just bring that up there. That's gonna be one of the masts um, like that. You can put in the next mast as well. So where we've got this pattern, where we've got like spruce, oak, three lots of spruce, and then this oak, this oak right here is where, if we follow that into the middle, that's going to be another mast. So we can then bring that up like that. And then right at the back here, where we've got these two, this last one here, that is where we're going to have the log going up. So it's just, you know, two blocks away from the end there, or in between the oak bits, wherever, wherever you prefer. Uh, that's where those three masts are actually going to be. So yeah, not too bad. Cool. So let's finish up this front bit anyway. We're going to go around this mast. So go all the way around the mast like that. And then we're just going to add in one extra, not there, one extra slab just coming forwards off of it. It's really difficult to show you guys. There you go. One extra slab just coming off of it in the middle like that. But that is it, guys, for layer number five. And for layer number six, what we're going to do is right on the front, we are going to place a block of oak planks directly on top of the last layer. We're then going to have an oak stair on the side here. Behind that, we're going to have an oak plank block. Then we're going to have an oak stair, normal stair that is, like that. Then two blocks of spruce planks behind this. Then we're going to have a spruce stair, right there like that. One spruce planks, one oak planks. Then we're going to have a total of 12 spruce planks going back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12, like that. Then two oak, one and two. Then a spruce block then an oak block and then we'll have a spruce stair just on it normally like that and we're going to do the same on the other side and then we're going to do a little bit of this little acacia wood type bit of it so right here we're going to have an oak stair just normal behind that we'll have an oak plank then what we're going to do is we're going to have another oak stair just normal like that behind that is two blocks of spruce then we're going to have a spruce stair then one block of spruce, then one block of oak, and now we're gonna have that set of 12 spruce blocks going back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, like that. Two blocks of oak planks, one, two. Then we're gonna have a spruce, then an oak, like that, and then our spruce stair block, like that. Now what I'm gonna do is with acacia slabs, we're gonna have just on the stair here, on the upper piece, we're gonna have an acacia slab here. Then on the next one, on the upper as well, acacia slab. Right next to it, right here, we're gonna have a lower acacia slab. Then we're gonna have an upper acacia slab. This is all part of the detailing around the beak here. So there's all of these this bits of detail here. So we'll do the same on the other side. So right here, on the upper one, put one there. Then on this upper one, put one there. Then on the lower one here, and then on the upper one here, like that. Cool. Uh, we can actually put in some stairs as well if we want to, because uh, we might as well. Um, sorry, not stairs, ladders, um, because we might as well really just whack those in. So where we're going to put these in, where we've got this oak block right here, we go to the next block, and this is where we're going to have two sets of ladders like that. So ladder, 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 and ladder like that. Um, I ended up going with two different places with mine. Um, it's up to you what you wanted to do, but... Um, that's yeah, just what I ended up doing. So this one on, well, we've got these two 
bits of oak that are sticking out just on this one move inwards and we're going to have another two there so three blocks apart in total so one two three and then there like that now what we're going to do is we're going to need a couple extra blocks we're going to need dark oak slab and we're also going to need dark oak stair um, and also going to need a dark oak block as well in fact have we got one around somewhere yeah nope so stairs apparently there we go dark oak block so what we're going to do here um, we're going to have a dark oak plank block just behind it just behind this stair there just on top of that oak one like that then we're going to actually have another one going forwards as well like that now we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair here on either side and a dark oak slab either side of that then with our spruce planks we're going to have just three spruce planks going across the back piece like that so it starts doing this little shape and it'll come together as we get onto the next layer you'll see the curve that we end up building into it and it'll look way better uh, what we're also going to do with our spruce um, spruce slabs where we've got that strip of 12 we're actually going to go onto the, the back of that part of it leave one go to the next one i'm going to have three upper slabs here and this is where our shrouds actually sit so one two and three like that that's where that's all going to be sitting just like that right so we'll get on to the deck part of this one so for the deck of this layer what we're going to do is right here where we've got well no, nothing on these ones on the next ones we're going to have two dark oak um, planks that's going to be part of the wall um, then what we're going to do is we're going to have a lower slab right here like that then the rest around these two sides are going to be upper slabs we're going to do another layer of upper slabs like this just like that and what we're also going to do is let's build these up as well so let's build up all of the build up all of the masts and make it a little bit a little bit easier there we go like that and um, we're going to have a strip going all the way to this mast here so if we just build across there we're going to have one going all the way around here like like that uh, we can grab not jungle slab we'll grab a oak trap door and what we're going to do here is just build and it's up to you guys if you want them to like you know obviously be flapped open or whatever you can have the whole thing open if you wanted to uh, i'm going to do this where i'm just going to build them up um, the other thing you can also do guys is you can have them you know like lower and then in the middle have them going upper um, it's totally up to you it really is i quite like at the minute um, with these kind of bigger ones having it all up so that you just get that kind of it looks like it's visually all up um, but you know you can put that in there uh, like that what we're going to do as well is grab another ladder and for me I put the ladder in here so you can have that going all the way down uh, if you want to so then you can get into the whole thing there you go that's going to be your main main way in um, and with our jungle we can then go around this obviously we can't where that gap is um, we'll build this all the way to not quite to there so what we'll do is we'll do this little bit around here so this goes all the way to the back plus another layer so all of this has another side layer so it's all just on the middle and the only bits we don't do it's three blocks from the back so one two and three so the rest of them can be filled in there we go uh, and i don't know why <laughs> I don't know why it's like that um my guess is that the wall is above it and I've just ended up yeah I've just ended up just cutting these bits out you can put them in there if you wanted to um but I guess you can like hang stuff here or or just get like another level uh, to put like chests and things like that in there that's why that's going on there I was just like looking at it just going this is really odd um but no that looks all good so there we go guys that is it for layer number six and now for layer number seven so what we're going to do guys is we're going to grab a spruce stair and right on top of the oak plank block that we've got down here place that spruce stair just normally and then we're going to go diagonal from this and have another stair and then another stair so yeah sets of three going across here like that now if your dark oak planks this is just going to be behind it and it's just going to go across until you hit that wall that we made before so let's build that going across there and just join that up it means you have got this like little gap here but you can put a chest or something in there if you want to uh, and these holes are on purpose as well um, you hardly get to see them when you actually get this bit of the ship at all so that's what's going on with those bits right so grab your spruce slab we're going to put two spruce slabs just on top of these blocks here right on the sides of these dark oaks just on the lower piece like that 
Now we're going to switch over to our acacia slab. And actually, we're also going to need a warped fence. Okay. So right here, right on top of this stair here, we're going to have an acacia slab like this. Then we're going to have one on the upper. Then another one on the upper like that. And then on these um, oak stairs, we're actually going to have warped fence like that. Now, on the lower one, on the front of this one, we're going to go forwards with two. Knock out that one. And then this one's going to be upper. It's all part of the beak, which is all quite complicated. And it starts to make sense uh, as we make our way through. Now we can build this stripped um, dark oak wood up. And if you want to, you can put a door in. I ended up doing or using the dark oak door. Uh, but if you want to put one in there, uh, put it on this side. Don't put it on this side because you won't be able to get in. Um, having this little extra bit allows you to get in from what I remember. Because you can also sneak and, and get in that way. So it's up to you guys though. Yeah, whatever. Right, anyway. So what's next? We're going to need a dark oak stair. And this is just going to be on the back of this one. So we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair that way. Then we're going to do the same here to make a little arch. Then we're going to have another one and another one. But with this one this time, we're going to actually have a normal stair going this way. Now we're going to have a stair going this way. So we end up with a basically like two and then one, two. We have a middle part. Then we're going to do the same again with a one, two like that. And then finally another two like that there. So you end up with four gaps, I guess. That would probably be the best way <laughs> best way to describe it. Um, then behind this, we're going to have two dark oak wood uh, planks like that. Then a spruce plank and a spruce slab on the bottom there. And then with this, we're going to have dark oak planks going all the way to the back of this, like that. And it's going to go all the way across the back as well. So this is where it covers up that little bit that we made before. So let's just do the same on the other side. So we're going to do the sets of stairs. So upside down stair, and then go to the rewards this way. Do a little arch. Go this way. Do another arch as well. There we go. And then this one right here is the different one, which is where it's looking towards the middle of the ship. But then we go that way. And then that way. And then finally once more that way. And that way. Like that. And then we get two dark oak uh, blocks behind that, planks behind that. Then a spruce plank. And then a spruce slab just on there like that okie dokie so what else can we put in well we can put in the little bit of the wall for the cabin uh, so where is this uh, where we've got this spruce block here where we've got another dark oak it's going to be right here on this one right there so you leave all of those and that goes straight across now for mine i put the door in on one side and i had a ladder on the other it's up to you guys if you want to do the same but that's why i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it so why not um, the other thing we'll need as well, uh, we can put in, actually, we can put in the dark oak door there. Um, I'll just put the little bit of ladder there. Uh, we can grab a, uh, what is it called? Composter. There we go. So one composter and also a, not a ladder, and a spruce trap door. That's the one. So use the composter on there and put a spruce trap on there so that it can just be closed up. That's the only reason um, that I've gone with that. But that will then do for that bit. And we can pull this one up one block like that. Now what we're going to need is some acacia. Well, we've got the slabs um, around, but we're also going to need a stair as well. So acacia stair, there it is. And what we're going to do for this, if we start on this side, we're going to go upside down stair, slab, upside down stair, slab, upside down stair, slab, like that. But on the back, what we're going to do is going to have an upside down stair. Then we're going to curve this one in. Then we're going to have a slab. So upside down stair there. And curve that one in there. And it just gives a nice smooth archway. Now that's quite layered. So just on this side, stair, stair, stair. With slabs in between. Just like that. Whoops. Like that. There we go. We'll get there eventually. Uh, but that then just builds the base for the cabin part of it uh, quite nicely. So there we go. That is it though, guys, for layer number seven. Okay, so for layer number nine, what we're going to do, guys, is right on the front, we are actually going to place a dark oak plank block directly on top of the last layer here. And then we're going to go forwards with one slab of dark oak planks. This is actually going to be part of the bowsprit, like there. 
We're going to also, with our dark oak slab, uh, dark oak block even, have that go back one more block. Then from this diagonally, we're going to go back one block. Then this is just going to be directly on top of the last layer, except over the door, where we're going to actually have a slab. So I ended up having a slab of mine, uh, so that you don't even knock your head at all. You could have it where you have, you know, a block and you, you have to duck, um, but then you have to duck going out as well. Uh, it's up to you guys, whatever you want to do. So right here like that, on the other side, we're going to have a block. And it's just blocks going around the whole thing like that. Now what we're going to do, on the side here, we're going to have a spruce slab, then another spruce slab. Then we're going to have a, a, an acacia slab there. Right on this corner here, we're going to have a warped fence in that bit there. Right here, we're going to have an upper acacia slab, then a lower acacia slab here like that. Right on the front, what we're going to do is have a, <laughs> a lower slab here. It's really difficult to try and get there, but um, you can have one right there like that. So that's where we're going to have that bit. So on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. So we've got these two spruce slabs right here. We're going to have that acacia slab right there like that. Right on here, a warped fence. Then we're going to have an acacia slab on the uh, upper piece here. Then a lower one down there on top of that bit there. And we've already got the middle bit in there like that. I feel like I've missed something. And it's because I've missed some of these on this side, haven't I? So we're going to have... A lower one there, yep, or even an upper one, upper one there, upper one there, and then a lower one there, there we go. I was thinking that side did not look right, sorry guys, so I've missed putting those down on the side there, but it's upper there, upper there, and then a lower one down there like that, just follow what you've done on the other side and you'll get there. So, we'll pull this through another layer, I'm going to grab our jungle slab and we're going to build this up around here. You can leave this one because of um, because of the bowsprit, from what I remember, or something else. No, apparently that's just an upper slab, um, a lower slab even. Okay, we might as well put that in, although that's technically the next level or next layer. That will go in there um, like that. Right, so if we now fly over to the back section of this, what we're going to do... Um, it's actually, yeah, let's start right with the back. So if we grab ourselves... Now you can go with any sort of glass pane or anything like that. Uh, I just went with plain because I put these um, these trapdoors in front of it, uh, which in fact we are we are going to need to grab. So let's grab those. So we've got the warped trapdoors there. Um, it's up to you guys, but yeah, whatever you want. What we'll do here on each of the corners, we're going to have the dark oak planks. So put those on there. Uh, then what we're going to do for the side part of it, we're going to go leave a block, put in a block, leave a block, put in a block, like that. So we've got one, two, and we're going to do that one more time. And now we're just going to join this up to the front part here like that. This is going to go around. So leave a block, leave a block, and then this bit will go straight over just like that. We are then going to have a dark oak plank slab, dark oak slab even, just on this one right here. So we've got this slab, block, slab like that. That's what we're going to go with. Um, and with Arcasia, we're going to have a lower one here and then an upper one here like that. So we'll do the same on the other side. So we've got that dark oak slab here. Then we've got the upper one, lower one, like that. In these gaps, grab your glass pane, whack that in. Like this, nice and easy. And we can put our warped trapdoor on those as well. I don't know if the warped trapdoor is different, depending on which way you go. Uh, it doesn't look like it, so it doesn't really matter. But, you know... You don't have to use warp trapdoor either. You know, you can use whatever you want. Uh, for the back, leave leave one in the middle because we're actually going to put a warped fence in there. Uh, in fact, we're going to put warped fences around a lot of these, so we'll do them every so often. But time being, this will do. Uh, and now we'll put in the fences on every single bit of it. So there we go. Now we put the fences in like that, um, and that will then complete that. We've already put in the door. Uh, if we want to, we can then you know extend that. Uh, we can extend to this and we can extend that if we wanted to uh, why not um, that'll do and also what I started doing with this mast is putting the ladder up but obviously we'll get onto that as when, when we actually get onto the main mast um, but guys that is it for whatever this layer is uh, I've totally forgotten one two whatever whatever this layer is it's done and for layer number nine what we're going to do guys is we're actually going to go over to the front of this here, where we put down that jungle slab, we're actually going to put a normal dark oak stair. So not upside down, nothing like that. 
and have those either side of that. We're then going to have a dark oak plank block right in the middle of this. Uh, we're going to complete the bow sprit and stuff. We'll do that in, in another section. Um, there's not really too much point to do that now. Where we've got this warped fence, we're going to put a slab on top of that. Then we're going to have an upper slab right next to it, like that. So there we go, slab there and a slab there, like that. With our dark oak stair now, where we've got this kind of bit here, we're going to be following this. So we're going to have an upside down stair going this way, then an upside down stair going that way. And then, bizarrely, I decided to turn it going this way as well. We're going to have one like that, or might even be one like that. I'm not totally sure. No, oh, apparently it's going the other way. Okay. I knew it was connected in some, some way, shape, or form, but I just couldn't figure it out. I couldn't, couldn't remember what it was. There we go. Um, for this side, we're going to have a little bit of a ladder going up onto that deck, uh, like that. And then what we're going to do is, on the other side, we'll do the same thing. So we get the upside down stair here, upside down stair there. Then this one is going inwards, and then this one is upside down this way. And then just to finish up, I had an upside down just in the middle going over this way. Um, purely just so that it kind of looked more banister-like than anything else. Um, really, that was all it was. Uh, we can make a composter on there if you if you wanted to. It's totally up to you. Um, but that's the little front part of it. So we'll get on to the back part now. So the back part, luckily, it's quite easy. Um, mostly dark oak uh, planks. What you guys are going to do... Actually, I do need to check one little thing. Uh, nope, they're just dark oak. That's fine. Yeah, dark oak planks go around the top of what you've already got here. So this structure. And we're just going to pull this all the way over the top, actually. The only thing I was checking for is if I've put in stairs or not. Because I've put in the uh, warped uh, trapdoors, I haven't put in stairs. Otherwise, if you're not going with any trapdoors, put in an upside down stair there. It'll look cool. Um, you know, just finish it off. Right, so what we'll do for the size of this is we're going to go slab on the bottom here and then over. And we're just going to alternate this like that. And then it'll finish up there on the side. So we'll do the same on the other side. Up, down, or down, up. Whatever you want to... <laughs> whichever way you start it, really, doesn't it? Doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll extend that ladder as well. And then what we'll end up doing, we can also pull this through. There we go, pull that through there. Uh, right on the back, it's a little bit different. We go up. Then we go, um, so we go down, up. Now we do a normal stair, acacia stair. And then we do it the up and down like that. So it's just slightly different, and it's purely because there's this kind of um, cross pattern type thing going on on the top of that one. Because uh, I just decided to to put that in, I thought it'd be cool. So next, what we'll do is grab some jungle slabs, and we're going to build it right up to this point. Actually, we'll just go put one on there, and then go out with three from here. And that'll be your little bit of the deck there so then we can actually go up now there is a little tweak to this one instead of a block take that out and put in an upside down dark oak stair just looks cooler and that will give you your access into the main uh, cabin area there we go which is all cool like that and um yeah guys that is actually it for layer number nine i think i'm pretty sure it is i'm forgetting now but pretty sure that is it for layer number nine if that's what it's called and now for layer number 10, what we're going to do, guys, is it's going to be quite easy for the front, at least. Um, we're just going to have some dark oak slabs. So we're going to have a dark oak slab on top of this one, on top of this one, and on top of this one. And that's it. That's all it is for the front part of it, uh, because we're getting to the kind of final bits of the hole now. Right, so for the back, it's a little bit more complicated. What we're going to do first is we're going to have an upside down stair here like that, then a slab, then an upside down stair. And we'll have an upside down stair there like that. Uh, it just makes it look kind of cool, I think. Um, we're going to put in a wheel, which is a grindstone. Uh, it's the best thing that we've got for a wheel, really. Um, like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have an upside down stair here. Then an upside down stair there like that. We're now going to have a slab there like that. And a normal stair. So we have a normal stair there going that way. So we'll do the same on the other side. Upside down stair upside down stair slab and then a normal stair that way okay now what we're going to do is we're going to have another stair going this way and then a block behind that we're going to leave this block and then we're going to have two dark oak slabs like that this is where it starts getting really complicated <laughs> so we get a stair going this way and then a block leave a block then we have two slabs here it's all to try and make it look like it's going in and still have little detail -y bits in there. 
uh, and it makes it quite complicated, at least for me to, to pick up what's actually going on. Um, across the back here, we're going to have three blocks of dark oak, like that. And we're actually going to bring these all the way to where we've got this block here. This block missing like that. There, like that. That's looking good. Um, what we're also going to do with our, uh, actually with our spruce slab, uh, right here we're going to have a spruce slab here, and a spruce slab going that way. This is going to be for the shrouds that you can see on this this one little, little one there. Getting all these pieces in here. Uh, we're also going to need a composter. Put that on top of that one there. Uh, and then with our jungle slabs, what we're going to do is around the sides of this, we're going to have these up. So these ones are going to be up. And then, I believe it's here. Yep, yeah, it is on those two sides there. We're going to have those up. This one's going to be lower, and then these are going to be up. It's up to you if you want to take that one out. Um, it's all to do with just trying to make it quite smooth as it goes up, like this one. If this wasn't here, it would be a slab. That's the idea. Um, but because it is there, it kind of breaks up the look of that pattern, and then you kind of get this like droppy downy bit. Um, some people might just want to replace that straight with a, a normal slab. Do whatever you want, really. You know, it's it's cool. Um, right. So what else have we got to do then? So I think. Oh, yeah, we've got one more thing here. We've got a acacia slab on this side here, like that, and an acacia slab there. And what we're also going to do is go down, up, down, up, down, like that. We're going to really build that up uh, quite a bit here. You can see that whole pattern going on there, like that. But that, guys, is it for layer number 10. And now for layer number 11, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to we're actually just going to be on the back because we're done with the little... Uh, Foxhall, forecastle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're done with that little bit. So we're going to be three blocks away from this part. So one, two, and three. And we're going to have our dark oak slabs. We're going to have three of those. One, two, and three, like that. There. Now we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair right on this block here, like that. Then right here, we're going to have a normal dark oak stair. Then this way, a normal dark oak stair. Then on the back, we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair going this way in the middle and then wrap around there like that, so you get that kind of a shape going on. So do the same on the other side, so one, two, three, three blocks of your dark oak slab, like that. Then we're going to have a upside down, <laughs> to have a look then, I was just thinking like, what, what is it? There we go, dark, uh, upside down dark oak stair there, then normal one there, and a normal one there like that, and that will give us that nice little shape here so it's all building up and it's all getting thinner and thinner as we're going up here um, as you guys can see you know I like these patterns and you probably noticed this if you've done my ships before of having having these circular kind of bits and then they they move up bit by bit as we got the ship but anyway that is it for layer number 11 okay so we're now gonna basically finish up the whole of the ship so first things first is to correct a mistake because every so often it does happen knock these out here right what we're going to do here is going to put a block of dark oak planks here block of block of dark oak planks there and this is now where we're going to have the uh, stairs wrapping around it's actually above everything and that will make everything else work perfectly so we've got these two stairs here we're going to put a well two slabs on top so slab on top slab on top like that then we're going to have an upside down stair here upside down stair there and then we're going to do the old thing of putting loads of blocks everywhere. I'm uh, going to do another upside down stair there. So we get the little loop there like that, uh, which is all good. There we go. That looks good. Now what we're going to do is, you guessed it, put in an anvil. You guys know I like an anvil on my ships. So that's why we're going to plunk one of those in, just like that. And now what we're going to do on top of this is put a slab here, slab here. We're going to have a dark oak stair here, like that. Then we're going to have a slab, and then we're going to have another slab here, like that. Then with the chain, we're actually going to have three of these going down, three bits of chain going down, and a lantern. Because why not? I've seen them on the ships, I don't know if they're this real thing or not, but it's what we're going to do, and, um, and it looks cool. So that's why we've got that bit in there like that but that then guys uh, actually finishes up the entire hull of the large caravel it's all looking quite good 
And now we're going to get on to building up the masts. So we're going to do this in sections um, just to make it a little bit easier, make sure we don't miss anything. Uh, but we're going to do the front, like foremost mast, the foremast first. We've already got our composter uh, down there. We're going to build seven blocks of stripped dark oak wood directly on top of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven like that. You're going to need a barrel. Uh, we're going to have a barrel going sideways like this. Add two blocks to it. So that's just of your normal mast. And what we're going to do is we're going to angle the masts. Um, and this is because when they've got full sail on, uh, it makes it a lot more easy to do your kind of natural sails, basically. Um, you can do it completely flat if you want to as well. You can do it the other way, you know, um, whichever way, you know, if you want it turned this way or turned that way, whatever, you can do steeper angles. It's totally up to you. But for us, what we're going to do is just this. We're going to go out with four blocks on the left hand side. And then at the back, we're just going to go backwards this way with four blocks like that. So you end up with this five, four, and a four, just going at a slight angle. But like I said, you can change this up if you'd like. So next, we'll just add another block on top. Uh, that is of the stripped dark oak wood. Then we're going to have a composter. And then we're going to go forwards with another composter. So we use the composters as if they've got rope going around them. Uh, somebody pointed this out to me, and it's it's really good. <laughs> so that's why I go with that. We're now on the forwardmost one. Going to go up with five. So one, two, three, four, and five like that. Then what we're going to do is again with a barrel. We're going to have a barrel going sideways, and we're going to have one block either side of this. And then on the left hand side, we're just going to have three going out. So one, two, and three like this. And then at the back, we're going to have three as well, two and three. So of course, it's, it's the same on both sides. It's just slightly smaller than the one down there and a slightly different angle, which gives a different looking sail, which is always cool. Right. So add another one on top of that one. Then we're going to have a composter on top of that. Then we're going to have two blocks. Now we're going to have two pieces of granite wool and two spruce fences on top of that so granite's the closest one at the minute that we've got if we ever get any wood 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 walls then we'll replace those with that um, just on top of this we're just going to place a uh, spruce trapdoor and what we're also going to grab oh this one actually hasn't got one i was going to say if we did want to have it we could have had a ladder going up but i guess i didn't put that on <laughs> what we are going to do is the little crow's nest is tiny on this one uh, there is one on the uh, the main one which does have a ladder going up if you guys are wanting to do that and you'll see there is blocks you need to take out if you did want to do that but if you did want to get to this one for whatever reason you can do um, so dark oak stairs we're just gonna have that on the side here upside down on the back and then on the side like that um, that is kind of it for that part of it so now we're going to do the bowsprit that is this bit that sticks out at the front here it's called a bowsprit that's what we're going to do so we already started doing a couple bits of this, only two blocks of it, but uh, we have got that. So we've got this one here, and then we've got the next one. All we're going to be doing is just stepping up with slabs going out. So the first set is going to be nine, and that includes this one. So you've got one, two, so that's when we go up a slab. One, two, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. And then just from the sides of this, we're going to put a little little mast on, a um, little Place where we can have a sail has got a name i've totally forgotten it uh, as usual uh, it wouldn't be one of these tutorials if i forgot forget every single part of the ship um so we're going to have from here uh, two blocks going out each side and you're going to use a spruce slab for this and then we're going to go forwards on this side on the left hand side and that's going to have a two and of course with the other side it's going to have two but it's going to be going backwards a little bit so it's back one block like that so now what we're going to do is we're going to have five um, additional bits going on it. So we've got one, two, three, four. Now the fifth, just have a slab. You can, if you want, go full block. It's totally up to you. Uh, I just prefer the look of it just ending with a slab. Um, so that's why I end up going with that. Um, right, so we're now going to connect these two up. So what we do is we grab some oak fence and we're going to go down from this uh, composter here, place a fence on top of that, go down, then out, and down, then out, then down and out, and you guys guessed it, you just keep on making your way down until you hit into the mast. Just like this, you'll get there eventually, if you can place the blocks in the right place, of course. There we go, and that's where you should hit it. 
So that's what you should do. Should also be, guys, at the edge of the box now as well. So that's one of the edges of the box. There we go, which we are. This is what we'd expect, which is all cool. So there we go. Right, so that is that, or well, that is it even, for the foremast. So we'll get on to the main mast now. Now for the main mast, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our stripped dark oak wood. Uh, we already placed one on top of here anyway, but including that one, we're going to have 11. So we've already got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Then we're going to grab our barrel, which I apparently don't have. There we go. Grab a barrel, put that on sideways, uh, add another 2 to each side of this. And then we're going to have a 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's just slightly bigger than the one just in front of it. And do the same again, so 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, just like that. Then what we're going to do is add another block on top of that one, have two composters, and then go forwards with two composters, like that. We can put on our, just wondering what block to grab, um, yeah we'll grab that, spruce trap door, why not? Uh, put the spruce trap door on top of that one as well. Then at the front what we're going to do is we're going to have eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we're going to put another barrel on. Add one block to either side the stripped dark oak wood, like that. Then either side of this we're just going to add in three blocks. So you go one, two, two, and three. Uh, and then we're also going to have two as well. Actually there's a two as well on this one. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, two. Yeah, one, two, three, two, three, and two. So it's quite big for this one. There we go. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add in one composter on top of this. Then we're going to have two blocks of your stripped dark oak wood, two of your cobblestone wall, or not cobblestone wall, but granite wall, and then two of your spruce fence pieces, like that. Then next what we're going to do is right on the top of this one, I'm having to have a sneaky peek, but uh, right where we've got the barrel here, we're going to have two pieces of oak fence. Then we're going to go down two, three, so you end up with this like one, two, three, one, two, three, but joining kind of a step pattern here until we hit into the forward mast. There we go, so you should hit that there. Then for this one, it is a above it instead, so you go one, two, three, so it's above that mast, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and it should connect in there like that. So finally, all we have to do is put in the crow's nest. So underneath this top one here, we're going to have a dark oak stair. And then the only thing I don't know is whether we need to curl, curl it or not, and that's what I can't remember. We do, we curve it in. Okay, so right there, curve that one in, do the same here, curve that one in. And then with your dark oak slab, just put a slab in there like that. And then what we are going to do is bring this ladder all the way up to probably, well, we can put it there, actually. Yeah, we'll whack it in there. That'll do. Because then at least we can get all the way up. Um, you know, with this bit, you just need to jump onto this and then jump to get to the next section. But then at least you can get onto this crow's nest all the way up here and get a really good view. So there we go guys, that is it for the main mast. And for the back mast, what we're going to do is if you grab your stripped dark oak wood, where we've got that compost right there, we're going to add 12 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Then over to your composter, put a composter on top and bring it forwards with or by one. Uh, also grab ourselves a spruce trapdoor and whack that on. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have four blocks, one, two, three, and four. Then with a, don't seem to have this like ever, uh, with a barrel, <laughs> we're then going to put the barrel on right up here. And we're just going to add one block to each of those sides. And then we're going to have three going out. So one, two, three, and then the same on the other side, but going back. One, two, three, like that. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have one composter on top of that then one block, then we're going to have two cobblestone, cobblestone walls or granite walls, and then two fences like that. For the oak fence uh, bit, 
I actually didn't look at the one down there. I uh, forgot about that. Um, right here, we're going to have uh, a fence starting from here. So oak fence goes this way, up by two. Then we go one on top, two, three, and then one on top, two, three, and it should connect into the top of that one. Obviously, if you guys want to actually get up here, just remove this or you know move it over. Um, you could always do something like this. Um, no one's ever going to notice it, really, not not at all. So it's totally up to you guys what you want to do with it. Uh, I do need to go and sneak peek at the next one because I've completely forgotten it. One, two, three from underneath that, that's fine. That's nice and easy at least. So right here, one, two, three with your fence pieces, then down, one, two, and three, and then down, two. And that's where it would connect in there. Um, if you want to do it, I usually advise doing it once you've got the shrouds in, uh, but sometimes if you did want to do it, it's easier to, once you've got the shrouds in, just add in an extra fence on either side that then allows you to uh, well climb up um, without it looking odd or anything like that um, you won't really notice it but do wait until you get the shrouds for that because it'll it'll make it a lot easier um, when you're setting all that up right so now what we're going to do is the nice big sail that we've got here so what's called the spanker from what I remember such a funny name um, what we're going to go with right here is going to have some dark oak stairs um, we're going to leave one block here and go to the next one and put in a stair like that and we're going to go forwards have another stair and again and again so you're going to get a set of four in total then we're going to go out for the next one so we end up going out but we're going to do the same thing so i'm just going to place in a little area for us to put blocks onto that's obviously wrong <laughs> So you can just delete it easily. But you get another set of four. Then we're going to do the same again. So we get here. There we go. Then we go one, two, three, and four like that. There we go. So we get those in there like that. That looks good. It's huge, this one. Um, I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, which is good. Because otherwise we'd have to rebuild it. So next... With your oak fence from the end of this one, we're going to go down with eight pieces of fence. So one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, and eight. And then go out. And including the one that we've just placed there, we're going to go down with eight as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, and eight. I'm going to double count just to make sure. One, two, three, four. It's really difficult actually, I just realized. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, and eight, yep. Yeah. There we go, like that. And then underneath this, we're gonna have dark oak slabs. And we're gonna have four of them, two, three, four. Then what we're gonna do, so we're gonna go in diagonally, but also gonna go down as well, which means we'll need to be here. So we got one, two, three, four. And then we'll do it once more as well, and this will hit into this here, like that. There we go. And that then finishes up that whole section there. We just need to put in a uh, little bit at the top, which is the little crow's nest, and it's the same as the one at the front, really. So underneath this right here, we're just going to put a stair on either of these pieces of the post, and that is it. Um, again, if you want to put uh, a ladder at the back of this one, you can do. I think this one's a pretty good one to actually do that with as well. Yeah, it is. So it's all it's all like clear to get up to there. Um, you just need to you know do a similar kind of thing if you wanted to do that. Bring this all out to to here, um, and then knock out that one. Same as what we did with this here. Uh, if you wanted to do that, it's totally up to you guys. Uh, but there we go, that is at least it for all of the masts. So I think what we'll probably end up doing is um, starting on some of the sails, and then we can finish up with the shrouds. So now for the sails, what we're going to do is just grab some white wool, and we're going to start with the front most piece, and if we just plonk this behind it, so plonk a little wool behind it, like that that's going to be our starting point if you did want this tied up um you could if you want to try and like make it look like it's bunched up at the front um something like that perhaps i don't know it's got to be up to you guys um but we are going to be doing it as if it's out at sea so we're going to do this in an organic way uh because sails because they've been pushed by the wind will always be a little bit different so what we're trying to do is make it look quite smooth uh this one i'm just going straight to um trying to make it look Look good. Uh, should we go to there? Yeah, actually, let's go to potentially go out. I'm trying to figure out what to do with this bit here. Is the interesting one. I think we'll actually probably end up pushing this forwards a couple blocks and having maybe that there. 
Maybe go down here. Hmm. This one's a difficult one. I always struggle with these. I don't know why. But I can see what I've done here. So I've gone two forwards there. And we've got three going across. So it might be. Oh, we do a kind of similar thing here. Or we'll do exactly the same kind of thing here. Um, but yeah, because these are organic, it is more... Kind of you have a look at what you've got. And then try to shape it from there. But what you're trying to do is make it look um, like a more interesting shape. Um, but also... Make it look like the wind is actually pushing on it. So I'm going to go up to there on that side. We'll go just direct diagonal from that. And on this one, we'll go down a couple blocks. Let's go to there and then go out. We'll have a look at what this looks like. And I'll explain a little bit about what I'm trying to do. I might, in fact, have this one going back one more. That looks a little bit better. And do something like that. That doesn't look too bad. So I've got two completely different ones, but um, you know, to each their own. It looks like this one. I went with three in the middle, and then went down to a total of um, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, yeah. So so three in the middle for this part here from that center line, or four depending on what you want to call it. And then went from there. This one I actually made it a little bit smaller. Um, either way would work. But what you're trying to do, and it's very difficult to explain, really, really difficult to explain, you're trying to make it look organic and natural. So here it doesn't, this bit here has been blown out and then it's gone in and then it's gone out. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so you might want to instead just push that one out and then bring it in, do something like that. Uh, and we might even need to do the same here where we did, you know, at the top. We pushed it out and that might make it look a little bit better. Uh, or in fact, even knock that one out there and go with something like that. That will do. So yeah, there we go. Um, the rest of them are quite easy, a little bit easier to do because I can give you guys a bit of a pattern to do. So if we start with the top one, we're going to have a one. So we're just going to go forwards with one. Like this. Uh, then we go with a two, I think, or three. So we go three, one, or go one, one, two. I'm trying to figure out the best pattern that will work with this. Yeah, let's go with that. So what we'll do is we'll go one, one, two, one, one, where we go in on those two. And you just follow the shape of your mast. Just follow it exactly. So bring this out. And this one's a two. There we go. And then we go in with your ones like that. There we go. And then the same again here. So one. And then we got those two. Like that. There, there we go. So you start off with something like this. So this is really kind of basic and simple. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to start shaping it. So what we do, if I have a look at this one, I could try and explain it with the one that's already existing. Um, we'll cut out a bit of the middle here. We're going to push out some bits and we're going to push back some bits and we're going to add these little bits on the side. We also cut out the bottom part of it as well. Um, so usually I end up starting with this. It's just a lot easier to just do it at the start. So we'll cut five from the bottom and three from the top, like that. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to eliminate these really harsh kind of corners that we end up getting with this kind of pattern. Might actually even push that forwards and push that one back. Now you can see it looks a little bit more organic. It looks a little bit more natural. Looks a bit better and looks less um, less structured. So that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to make it look less structured. So this one I'm going to push back all the way to here and then go potentially out. Like that. There we go, like that. Maybe even push these two out instead. I think this one I'm going to kick out there and do something. I'm not that keen on this at the minute. This, this, These four going back don't like that at all. So I'm actually going to switch this one back to there. Um, that needs to go that way. That's the problem. So it might be we do something like that instead. We add in an extra block there. I know we took out five, but that's fine. Um, and then for here, do a similar kind of thing going on. Maybe even go back to, to there. There's a lot of this diagonal that I'm doing. It's really weird, which I usually don't do. So I'm thinking maybe that one goes to there. All right, if we knock this back, that looks OK. I think we'll add in one there. That looks a little bit better. And it is one of these things 
like, I know survival guys hate because um, it's natural. It's it's an organic process. There's no like I'm not going to do a block by block on it because every single time, as you can see, they end up different. Every single time they end up different. Um, that's because it's always it's just being this natural kind of shape, natural way of doing things. We might add in push this forwards. There we go. That's good. So I'll do something like that. And that that kind of works quite nicely. Um, now the good thing is, uh, well, the other thing we need to put in is oak. Just I put in oak fences at the back. Um, we don't need to on the front because this one's got it got the kind of bit going all the way around here. We don't bother with that. We just do it on these ones. Um, you can just follow the entire um, mast, but I just put them in the in the bits behind it so that if you're looking at it from behind, you can see that the the, the sails are actually tied in somehow. So we'll move on to the next one. Um, so for this one. I'm going to go over one again. Always starts with a one. Uh, we'll try a two. I might even go with another two. And then go over one. I think. So let's give this a go. And sometimes you can change it up. Or well, you can change it up. It's totally up to you. There's no, no hard set rules with sails. Again, organic shapes in general. Same with trees, you know. Um... Highly, highly structured stuff doesn't really happen as much, but everything is like a pattern, really. So there's, there, there are things that happen in nature, which you can kind of see, but doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Right, so we'll go with one. We're also going to go with another one as well, and that's just going to help us um, have a really cool shape to the whole thing. So we'll go with one there, like that. Okay, cool. So with this one we can even again look at the other one so I, I cut out a hole five on the top of this one um, and then at the bottom you can see we actually cut out well we had most of this here and it cuts out on the edges so it actually goes down on the edges there which is why we've got this extra one here but we can you know cut a couple extras here so cut those two uh, for the beginning cut the hole five out like this we're actually gonna potentially let's push this one back here there you go, like that, and let's add in a couple there. Uh, maybe down here, add in three of them. So we can really push this side piece out right here. Do quite a lot more of it. And then we can push these back, and we've got a little bit more space to play with. The bigger bigger the sails are, usually the easier they are to uh, to get them to look right, to make you, you know, happy with it and all that kind of stuff. Like this. There we go. Push that one back and this one forwards. That's looking good. We'll just finish up this bit here. Do something like that. I might even add a block onto that part there. There we go. And for this side. We might just tweak a couple bits. So I'm just looking at it now and just seeing where. Well, if that one, that one's a big, <laughs> big mistake. Um, but there we go. I'm gonna look at what we can do, bits and pieces to make it look a bit better. There we go. That looks good. There we go. Cool. So just play around with it. If it doesn't look perfect, it doesn't matter. Um, people generally won't notice. So again, these are completely different to the one that I've got over here. But you know, the similar kind of patterns is going on. Um, grab your oak fence as well, plonk those in at the back of these to make it look connected on, uh, and that will do. So now for the next two, or three actually, we'll do the next three. There we go. So right here, one. Oops, knock that down. Um, I think we'll go with a two next. Let's actually, let's actually get this sorted. Let's so go two, probably three. Two, one. Yeah, it's not going to go out that far. That's the only problem with that. That three is the only problem. So I might actually go out even further and then snap this back in. So let's go with that. So one, two, 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 one, one. So really going out quite a bit. 
So again, look, it's really got the winds. So the wind is really blowing, you know, higher up. Um, you can go all the way down to this. Well, we can go down to the next level, in fact, and we will. Um, so I'll go with another one there. Um, could. I was wondering if we change this a little bit. Yeah, let's change that to that. So it's a one, one, two, three, and then we start moving in one, 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 like that. That will look a little bit better. I think it will look more, more of a natural curve, which will look better for this one. And again, it's just have a look at it and see what you think looks best. And if you think the previous one did, then go with the previous one because it doesn't really matter. Oops, put out too much on that. Uh, and then these are the ones. And I've got a set of ones. We get one, then a set of twos, then threes, and move in again with your ones. And then finally on the end of this one. Like that, there we go. Okay, so if you look at the other one, so we've got five cut out on the middle of this one. Uh, at the bottom, I expect it's quite a bit cut out. Yes, yeah, so it's like a seven, like a seven blocks being cut out. So we'll do this, the same kind of thing here. So cut out these here, including these two sides at the bottom. Cut out those and a couple more. So we get a really, really wide part of it here. So let's start moving blocks around. Pushing them in and pushing them back as well. Uh, let's go for two there. And we'll go for one there. One there. We'll start pushing this back. And see if that looks okay. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Let's knock that one in. Just start playing around with the shape of it. There we go. So, what should we do there? Put that in there, I guess. And up here, we'll go for going out and then back. It doesn't look quite right. <laughs> so we'll actually go to there and then go back, I think. That looks better. Sometimes it just doesn't look right for whatever reason. To play around with it. So put in two blocks there. Move this out, move that out. And we're going to add in a one there. Let's push these back. And put these ones out there. There we go. Let's have a look at that. See how that looks. It looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Uh, I guess the only thing I might put in is maybe one there. Yeah. So, I mean, the only bit I don't really like is this square bit here. But, um,. I'm okay with it somehow. Um, so, you know, like this one doesn't have any of that at all. Uh, but this one has this almost like a line that you can see going across here where it's always pushed out, uh, which also I tried to avoid, but obviously didn't on this one. And on this one, I tried to avoid the squares and I've left the square in. But um, I mean, I could, you know, the way to fix it would be to put a piece there instead or bring this one forwards. But then for me, that, that matches down here. I don't like that. So that's why I think that's that will work. There we go. Cool. So next one, actually, first put in our pieces of oak. Put in our oak fence. There we go. Put those in there. And then down here, what we'll do is we'll figure out the pattern. So we're going to go one, two, probably a three as well. One, two, three. And then we want to go out and then in. So let's try and figure it out. Maybe do something like that will do. So one, one, two, three, then two, then one. There you go. We'll go with that. Yeah, we'll have a look at what that looks like. That should look good. And of course, we're going to cut lots and lots of it off of the bottom of this one.
So one there, another one. And there, and what we're also going to do on the sides is add in another one because we can then use that to um, further shape it. So that one there, whoops, right to there. Okie dokie, right. So we've got a really big square blob, but that will work for the time being. So with this one, I cut out five, it looks like, and a huge big chunk out of this one, um, not surprisingly, so that we can actually walk underneath the sail, um, which is exactly what we're going to do on this one as well. So we'll cut that five out in the middle and down here. We, we need walking space. So we're going to cut out a couple here and also just on those sides. So maybe we'll go to there and go to there, just cut out an extra block. That'll do. So now let's shape it down the bottom here, adding a couple blocks here and we'll start to move everything going forwards. And just detail this in here. There we go. Do something like that. It's difficult to explain what we're doing here. There we go. That looks a bit better. That looks a bit better. Um, I'll push these ones back. There we go. Add a couple of blocks up there as well. That looks good. Okay, so two blocks back here, and we're going to be one there, and then pull it. Let's go on here. Hmm. Okay. Put that there. Do that there. This bit's the only bit I'm not too sure about. Okay, something like that. Looks a bit overkill, but it'll do. And then let's finish up this side here, so we'll soften all these sides. Push these back. Okay, so almost there now, I think, with this one. Yep, that looks good. It's quite a big sail, which, which again is quite good. The only bit I'm not too sure about is this bit. It just looks a little bit, I don't know, over-engineered. There's too much going on with it, I think, is the, is the problem. But again, it will do, you know, like this one looks pretty over-engineered as well. So I must have done it the same on the other side, uh, on the other one, just on the opposite side. Uh, and that's what that one looks like. So, you know, you'll get the hang of it, guys. Um, honestly, first couple of times you do it will be, won't be the best, but after a while, you'll get the hang of how it all works and uh, get it going. So last one, last one of these square rigged ones. Anyway, we also got the, the back one as well, the kind of triangular shaped one. But for these ones, we'll do, uh, we'll go one, one, two, and then go in. Uh, it's going to be like a quite a small, Quite a small sail, really. So, two. One, two. And then one, like that. There we go. Really nice little small one. Um, again, we'll have a look at what I did in the last one. It's just got a cut three on the top and four, really, on the, on the bottom of it. Uh, so, I'll do a similar kind of thing here. Three of them there. Knock these in, push some of these back and forwards or whatever, and just kind of go with it like this. There we go. Push that one into there, uh, push that one back there. This one knock in and knock out those three, five, yep, we'll go with five, four even. Knock out four. And then put this up here, and the same here will go out. 
like this. Um, and I don't like this blob thing that I've got here. But I like that even less. So that might actually just have to do. I'm not going to notice really, not at all. There we go, cool. So let's put in the fences as well. We'll have a look at the other one that I've done. So we can see that. So there we go. Over on this side, what did I do here? Oh, I did a similar kind of blob. I just moved over a bit and it's flatter. Um, so that's all that's really changed with that one. I actually think I prefer this overall. It looks a little bit better, but either way, guys, it doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, yeah, one more sale left, which we'll get onto now. So for the last sale, what we're going to do is, it's going to be nice and angled. So the way we start this is behind the stairs, just put in a block. Just put in one block. And then we'll follow what we've got here. Now when we get to this point, obviously we can't go behind that one. So we just skip it instead. Um, we can actually put one in front. Let's go in front because that will make it look a little bit better. And go all the way down. You don't have to go to this one at all. Um, in fact, sometimes what we want to do is make it actually come in to around here. So you might want to do something like that or like this or something. I don't know. We'll see in a second <laughs> as we start tweaking it. Um, so then the next part of it, we go forwards. And with this one, we're going to follow mostly around this side. So we'll end up building this side out and then going in and We'll then go to here. So we need to figure out how we're going to go in and where we're going to go out. So I think I'll probably push out from here and go up from here like this. And I think I'll probably go out here, keep these in. Actually, let's go out even more. I'm going to really push this one out quite a bit down here. So you try and make these areas where we're trying to do just to explain it because I've already got one here. Let's make the air look like it's pushing this way. So you end up with these corners, um, and that's why it gets caught around this area here. Um, but these bits are usually quite a bit bigger, so that's why we're going with that. So we'll go something like that there. I'll actually have this going out like that. And build this one going in. Now this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because we've got these bits here. So what we end up doing is having places where these blocks go out. And that means that this needs to go in like this. So we might actually go to there. And that could mean that this block gets brought forwards. And if we brought bring it forwards, it then makes a lot more sense to do a lot more with it. There we go. So we have something like this. Maybe we end up tweaking this, but that's fine for the time being. We'll go with that. And do the same kind of things here and then this one will go to that bit and then we'll join up that there and connect those two go to here so this is where it gets a little bit of a problem so we need to start pushing this out now and that's where we've got this really awkward looking bit so we need to try and break that up a bit so i'm going to bring that one forwards in order to do that that looks better I don't know why, but um, it just did. It just looks better. Um, so you try and make these natural shapes coming out. We do need to then make sure we go back in again as well. So with this one, we can go floating over that. Uh, we can go into the here. I have another piece going around here like this. Um, let's go for there. So I have those bits coming out. Yeah, I don't have a don't have like a full cross going on. Um, so we'll go for there. And pull this one out to there. And then go out. And then go out again. Let's go over there. We have a little bit coming out here. That looks really weird. <laughs> so sometimes you'll get these bits where it just looks odd. Take off the corner off that one. That'll soften that edge quite nicely. Uh, we'll have this bit going to here. Here we go. We're getting lots going in now. So now we've got a bit of a more of a complete picture. It just starts, honestly, it just starts coming together and then you'll be like, ah, okay, cool, that looks good. Or that doesn't look good. Um, either way, it's absolutely fine. That looks really good now, actually. Really happy with that, actually. Um, does that look better than the old one? I think so, somehow. Um, just don't ask how, because as you saw, it's all making it up on the spot. Um, but yeah, the idea being that you just kind of, you need to have these like solid points where you're pulling everything back to 
this side edge does help um, getting like from there all the way out and then going back again that will definitely help set the kind of pace for everything else and it's just a case of getting it to kind of push around uh, really now what I can't remember is if we have any fences no we don't because of because of where the, the whole thing is all of it's like mostly back behind it we don't have any fence pieces on that um, but guys that is at least all of the sail pieces done you can put pieces of sail between each of the masts um, I haven't with this one um, I think it's just because it's too small it was just such a small ship um, same with the front as well you can put on a jib sail um, if you wanted to uh, I just haven't done it with mine because it'd be it'd be quite small and we've got the front one here which looks pretty good um, so that's where we've got that so now we'll get on to the shrouds so now for the shrouds what you need to do is grab your birch vents we're going to do these in sections so we're going to do the four mast shrouds first um, so with your birch vents what we're going to do is we're going to build up two on top of this and this is going to be three high in total so you've got one two and three right at the, oh, the front most piece piece place one more piece of fence um, we're going to try and do this in tandem on the other side as well so we go one two three high so one two and one two and the frontmost one has one extra on top of it okay now what we're going to do is where we've got this one sticking out we're going to put one on the back and move one over and what we're also going to do is bring these down as well um, now what I don't know is if we're actually bringing it down we are bringing it down to that that's the only thing I couldn't see so we are going to bring it all the way down as well to the bottom so it's all connecting in which makes a lot of sense there we go so we'll get this up to here like that on both of those sides cool now what we'll do is on these two at the back we're going to build a layer and we're also going to go one towards the front so one towards the front now these two right here are going to be free high including the one we've already placed so we've already got an extra two now and an extra well onto our third one so we go one two and three like that then on the back of these if we connect two on the back this back piece is also going to be free high so we add another two on top and another two on top now we do the same on the other side as well so we go one two three like that build up another two on these one two one two and then connecting behind it we get two there and we get another two and another two so it's free high in total good news is once you've done it on one side you can just copy it on the other oh and also if you make a mistake guys it doesn't matter it's organic isn't it so um <laughs> Is absolutely fine it kind of gives you a nice cover all um, right next what we're going to do is we're going to add one which goes on top of the mast that we've got here and then this is going to have two on top of this then all we're going to do is going to have one going all the way up to the top of where we've got the crow's nest so there two there we've got the composters and then bring it all the way to the top Then all we need to do is just add in one on the crow's nest like that and that is it guys for the shrouds at the front and now for the main mast shrouds what we're going to do is we're going to start on the left hand side again and we'll, we'll build it up um, on both sides at the same time I think because that, that seemed to work so what we'll do is we're going to have three lots of your birch now put another layer on top so it's all building off of these places we've already made which is great um, right behind this we're going to have three as well not where the slab is obviously because we can't place one there so we actually go forwards by one like this okay now this is going to be four in high in total so we build this up again all the way up to four in total we're just going to add in an extra fence here on the forwardmost one like that and also on this this one right here the forwardmost one like that and we're going to do the same on the other side so we get three initially build up to two high behind here we're going to have three but we can't place it on the slab so we go forwards that this is going to be four high like that place one on the forwardmost one there and also one on that one there all right cool so then we'll get on to the next bit which is going to be we've got this forwardmost one attach one to the back of it and just go back with another two now to connect this all up just underneath these two here we're going to connect in another two little bits like that and then we're going to have four sets of two just on the on the frontmost two so we go one two three and four like that we'll do the same on the other side so we're going to connect in one behind this and bring this all the way over like that and then connect in the bottom two here 
And then what we're going to do is on the forward most two, add four sets of two. So one, two, three, and four, like that. Then what we're going to do is connect in two behind it. We'll go back to the left hand side. Connect in two behind it, like this. And we're going to have another set of four, but on top of this, it's actually a set of five, uh, five sets of two even. So you've got one there, two, three, four, and five, like that. Same on the other side, so we'll go one, two, three, four, and five, like that. And this is where I was saying if you did want to disconnect that, you can place it around the sides then. Same with the one over there as well. If you want to be able to go all the way up it. Oh, this is this is the main mast, yeah. So if you definitely want to do it, do it on this one. Um, <laughs> it make, makes more sense to do it on this one than any of the other ones. Right, so now what we're going to do, where we've got uh, the bottom of of this one where we, it meets the mast, we're actually going to just do a single line all the way to the top. It makes it nice and easy. So single line all the way to the top, like that. Whoops, there we go. And then we're just going to do a little bit of a top up. So we're going to actually add in another three on top of this one. So where we've got this um, composter, go one, two, three, going up to complete that little bit there. So one, two, and three like that. Complete that going up. And then the last bit is, of course, the crow's nest. Put in your pieces of fence just around that. And then that will complete the main mast's uh, fences. The only thing I don't like that much on this one is that it looks quite thick on this bit so um, it's up to you guys if you want to like remove a couple levels off of it but um, yeah it is totally up to you guys you know you can do whatever you want or thicken it down here and then it'll it'll look okay uh, it doesn't really matter whatever you'd like but anyway we'll get on to the last one and now for the last one so what we're going to do is right on the back here um, where we've put the platform in already we're going to have two, so two bits of your fence. Uh, we're going to build this up to be a total of three high, so put on another two, one, two, like that. Right on the front, what we're going to do is place one extra one there like that. Now, with this one, we actually go and build on the back of this as well, so we'll build this up to the same height as that one that's sticking out. And then we can go one more. And then with this frontmost one, we're going to add in one and then we're going to just, with each of these, we're going to connect in one behind and one behind there with those two that are sticking over. And then connect that up, and that's going to start the back piece. So now we're going to have another two on top of this, so one, two, one, two, like that. And now it's really nice and easy. We just follow the mast all the way to the top. Uh, we can also put on fence on the top of the crow's nest as well. Other side, side, however, this is where it's really complicated because, of course, we have a big honking sail in the way. <laughs> so um, what do we do? Well, we do our best. So we'll do two on top of here. Build this to be three high in total. So one, two, one, two, like that. Then I think it's the forwardmost one, was it, that has the bit on it? Yeah, the forwardmost one has a bit on it. So we put in that one there. And then we would connect in ones behind it. Um, and in fact, we'd actually go down all the way to here and connect that up. And that's as far as we can go on this side. So we now need to backwards engineer it. Uh, well, literally backwards. So here we can stick out some. So it depends on how your sail is, but just match basically what you've got on the other side. So you have this going on here. This one will then go down like that. This one can't go across. That one can't go out. And that's that's it. It's nice and easy, really. Um, so you just make it look like it's connected in. You can if you want, just don't even do anything with it. But as you can see, exactly the same as what I've done on the other side there like that but guys i'm very happy to inform you guys that you've finished the tutorial we're all done it's all looking good um hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you have make sure to comment like and subscribe and guys uh, i'll see you on the next one later